Okay, part two of wiring the switch up. So I put some heat shrink on that and this is going to go to the top part of the isolation switch. So I'm just going to crimp that. Two wires. So if you look at them, the one live goes to each one of these switches, which is your switch, which is your live. And the other one goes to your voltmeter and your USBs. And that will go, and that's been crimped. Slide that over there, and then we'll heat that up and shrink it in. Okay, so just tighten that up, hold it, and just give it a pull. That's it. So the two reds from the top and from all the switches, which you can see just two red wires, go to the top of the isolation switch. Or the, yeah, the isolation switch. Yeah. Now what we're going to do is bring in, so I'm going to make a hole in the bottom of this case and bring in two wires from the battery. Now I want to explain something on the battery. I'm not, I could use something like this from the battery. These are quite high, heavy duty battery cables. There's no need to for me because my starter motor, well, I am, no, I don't have a starter motor. I am the starter motor. On the engine, I don't have a starter motor. It's just pull cord. So I don't need any ampage at all whatsoever. All I'm running is LEDs at the moment. So in the center, hopefully. These are amazing, absolutely. Okay. Now I did make one booby and I actually crimped I crimped the end on before I should have done but it'll go through anyway with a bit of a, a bit of a squeeze okay. okay so this is live from the battery it did go through just pinch my fingers a bit so this will then go here so that's coming straight from the battery sorry okay straight from the battery straight to the bottom of the isolation switch which is then this makes the switch live so when you turn the switch on it makes all these switches live right next next i'll put a connector on this this then attach to the bus bar which will be all negative Use a little tiny bit, the teeth in the middle as well. Once you crimp it, use the teeth in the middle, and it does squeeze it nice and tight. So now what I've done, I've extended the two blacks, and that's going to go to a end with a little ring on, which I'll get now. in the middle, just get a bit of a nick, that's it, okay, so this will now take the locking off, so I'm doing, just tucking it down and then just give it a bit of a tweak, a bit overkill this, <laughs> Okay, so now we've got this wire coming in here. This is coming directly from the battery. So now we're going to connect the live to the bottom of the isolation switch. So when it's connected to the battery, this will then this will then make this switch live. Okay. It's nice and tight. Okay, so live from the battery. 
coming in to the bottom of the isolation switch. From the isolation switch coming out, go into the live to both sets of live wires on the switch. So it makes all these live and it makes all the switches live, including the little LEDs, which are like just for the fancy, just for show. Next, I've then wired up all the blacks to, doesn't matter, it's blue, but it's still negative, and they connect together, just the two. There's only two of each. If it's more, it would be more. It doesn't matter if you've got six, eight, you have to get a bigger box. So then they go to the one side of the bus bar. Okay, now this one coming from the battery will go this side of the bus bar. Okay. So that will do then, that will make this bus bar, I wouldn't say live, but it is, if you know what I mean. It'll make it so, it's, yeah, it's live. Let's call, let's call it live, okay? So the switch will be live, the bus bar will be live, all right? I don't know if you've seen these before, red and negative, and these are battery terminals and they're really easy fix. So we slide them over, like so, push them down, it's usually easier than that, slide them over, push them down, hold on, isn't it properly? There we go. Okay, so that makes that now. This should, with a bit of luck, if I put the switch in. Okay, <laughs> this, this better work. There we go. Can you see that? So this is a totally isolation isolation switch on. So now we've got all the lights are saying now we've got power. I'm not going to say they're not live yet. We got power to the voltmeter. We should have lights in the USBs as well. Can you see that? Yeah. So then, if I switch these, these means now they are active, but there's nothing connected to them. So, and then off, so it isolates everything. Okay, let's turn them off. Off. Okay, next job just to show you, quite simple bilge pump. I'm going to wire it up. So you thread your wire through the bottom of the case first. Then you can extend as much as you want. This is just for demo purposes. Okay, I would recommend buying yourself a kit like this. They're quite cheap. I think I bought one off eBay for about 10 quid. It had everything, including shrink wrap and everything. So I'm going to connect now one of these to the line. Okay, so that live now will go to one of the switches. Now what I put by is a tap, because that's all I can find. This is going to be water. So I'm going to connect it to the middle switch, okay? So that's going to the live. You can see that? I'll push it through there. Nice tight fit. And now what we'll do now, we'll put the other end to the buzz bar. What I'm going to put now is a, I'll show you. Okay, crimp that. Oop. Keep the little walking blocking washer, you need that. Pushing through there. I'm gonna put the wires down below because I want them out of the way. Excuse my fingers. Okay, nice and tight. So now we've got the bilge pump wired in. Okay, so we've got live going to the live switch, which is only left. That's all you got. Each one of these is live. So when you switch the switch on, I'm not being rude to anybody, I'm just showing you how I wire my switches up. So now the whole thing is live when I put the um, circuit breaker on, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so 
the bus bar is now being fed by the battery the bus bar so it's negative from the battery live to the switch put the switch on this all becomes live then we've got an earth as well going to this so now we should be able to get the pump to work so switch it on okay everything's lights up so with luck now the pump you should hear it Okay, I'm going to wire them now, but you get the picture. So I'm going to wire up port and starboard lights. So when you're going out to sea, you have to have these. And we are going to go in the sea with this by law, especially if you're doing a bit of night fishing. Um, just to tell you the difference, I know it's no staff, but just in case you don't know, port is red, always. So port, when you think of a glass of port, is red. Red port, port, left. So how much port is left in your glass means this goes on the left easy way of remembering it how much port have i got left so this goes on the left so i'll go on the left of the boat uh, also four letters l-e-f-t p-o-r-t it matches and then you can't go wrong so this is always on the left the starboard is always on the right that's about it really finally a little tip anything you've got coming in you need to leave a little bit of slack so you got to play with it i would always put a tie wrap or a tie what they call them tie yeah whatever around here so they won't pull out so put quite a substantial one and if you need to drill and they'll do the same so it can't pull them out um also if you look at this it's not going to fit in properly so this will go the opposite way around okay so this then fits so you tuck it all in and this one should look at that let me turn it around because I've loaded it so that every wire comes from the bottom so I will seal that sorry did you get that yeah anyway so I will seal that either a grommet or some um, silicon and then and there we go she's on okay so if you had more switches you just wear them up so you get a bigger box so I've got this is for this is going to be this is the light so this would be the port and starboard lights we're busy today sorry about that and this is your so okay and one more final thing which i forgot to mention if you wanted to put an inline fuse between either your fish finder or your leds or whatever you want to do what you would do then you would connect this or solder it or whatever you want to do connect it to the inline fuse which is i've got four coming but they haven't turned up yet so it's got a little box about so big um it's got a little fuse in it like a little spade fuse red wire red wire or black whatever you want to do and what you do you'd connect one end of the fuse to this the other end to the live on the switch and then you would connect then your neutral to that and that way it's protected you've got a fuse in between your live and your live there okay uh, and you can do that to anything whatever you want even if it's a six way doesn't matter what it is just order six inline fuses all right take care if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up a like and a subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next one all the best bye